Thank you, President Theobald. I hope that all of you, 50 years after your graduation, will also be up here, not at one time, but will be here and be able to celebrate the tremendous role that Temple University has played in your lives, as I do. You can come home. But even when we leave, I think each of us takes a little bit of Temple University with us. I want to use the minute given to me to give a message to the graduating class. The challenge to this generation is to take responsibility. Too often, we seek to av avoid it. But not just responsibility for your lives or the career choices that you will make, as important as they are. You have to think about responsibility to society in a much larger context, to your city, to your state, to your country, to the world. We live in a time of great flux, of great change, of great challenge. The world needs you. You may not think you're efficacious, but believe me, you are so powerful. You can make a world a difference, and you can make the world a different place. It is up to you to make the choice. One of the things that really sets me off is when I hear young people say, it is what it is. Not true. It is what you make of it. The decisions that are being made now will affect you, your children, your grandchildren, and they will hold you to account for how did you respond? How did you meet the challenges of today? What difference did you make? We live in an age of superficiality. Nobody has patience for history, for facts. We want everything instantly. It's not the way the world works. And the world is not, and life is not, an algorithm. Without the human qualities of passion, caring, caring for justice, for freedom, compassion for the suffering of others here or abroad, standing up for those who cannot speak out for themselves. Those are the true measures of who we are and what we've accomplished. The greatest dangers to us are not external enemies as dangerous as they may be, but ignorance, indifference, and apathy, those are the greatest dangers. <laughs> Martin Luther King once said, we will not be judged by the attacks of our enemies, but by the silence of our friends. We will be judged whether we stand up for those around the world who are being killed, Muslims, Christians, Jews, of any religion, of any faith. If we are silent, then we are guilty too. I believe it is a myth that young people do not care. I can see that you care and that you will make a difference by virtue of what you do. As I said, you are so important. Just believe it yourselves. And when you go out, you will meet the challenges so that future generations 50 years from now will celebrate you as we do today, your accomplishments, and how you made the world a better place.